Good Tuesday morning to you people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609. It's me and it and my bananas. Those are real bananas, by the way. And uh, let's see, Rusty78609 in my 2019 Casita Liberty, scratch that. Yeah, Liberty Deluxe. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I've been RVing for 25 years, long time. So anyway, if you have some questions about RVing and casitas and stuff, we'll get them out there. <clears throat> but anyway, hey Google, good morning. Hi, Rusty. The time is 7.05 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 36 and clear. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 62 and a low of 36. Have a wonderful day. You know, we got a little frost outside here, uh, so it's uh, probably 33, 34 here. Anyway, it's cool outside. I got my little Pilonis heater on, <clears throat> and it's nice and comfy in here. And I like it. Anyway, uh, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 28. 20, that's not too bad. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Zapata, Texas? Sometimes she has a hard time finding The temperature it. in Zapata right now is 52. Thank you. What's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 16 degrees. Thank you. <clears throat> no problem. Hey Google. Tell us a joke. Did you hear about the world's largest pickle? It's a really big dill. Anyway, PJ Bikerville says, Norman Tanaga, Tanaga, you're dead. He left a link to that, whatever that is. That must mean something to you younger guys. Thank you, PJ. TG McFly, Rusty, I truly enjoy your show can you ask google what's the temperature in fairfield ohio yes i can tg mcfly you watch this smoke dude hey google what's the temperature in fairfield ohio the temperature in fairfield right now is 37. see there almost the same as it is here we could swap places and not know it was a temperature difference or not notice it Anyway, a PJ Bikerful left a link to a Miller Lite commercial. Thank you very much. I probably was in it. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Xena360. Hello, Rusty. Thanks for all the helpful advice and entertaining videos. See, these are entertaining, folks. To see, you want to know what the definition of entertainment is here, right here. Xena360 says these are entertaining videos. So the definition of entertainment is what you're watching. <laughs> All the best to you and your loved ones. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I answer my own. Never mind. Digging Fly Dog. That's the guy's name. Digging Fly Dog. Digging. Okay. Hey, Rusty, back up. Pick me up at. Pick me up a sub teriyaki chicken toasted on wheat. LOL. You bet, Digging Fly Dog. You just don't move. I'll be right there. Uh, anyway, uh, Garden Freeman uh, it says uh, he is not dead. He is pining for the Fjords, F-J-O-R-D-S, the, the Fjords. <clears throat> anyway, P.J. Bikerful must have been, what'd you do yesterday, P.J.? You kind of got into the old wine tank, boy. P.J. Bikerful left another link. Linda Thompson, it won't be long now. Oh, that... <laughs> He left a link to that because I said something in a video about was the dog. What does the dog say when? What did the dog say when when they cut his tail off? It won't be long now. Yeah, me and Google work together. Doctor Dan, I respect the way you do your Amazon link reminder. It's about as low key and tastefully done as possible. I just deleted a whole lot of negative Ned comments. I had for the complainer. I said them out loud, just didn't spread them around. Anyway, it, it, believe me, guys. When you're, a, if you do YouTube videos, you better have a little thicker skin <clears throat> than the average human because you're going to get picked at all day long. And does it bother me? No, no, no. I mean, it. It. Uh, well, I'm human, so yeah, it, it does. It aggravates me sometimes because people can be so stupid. Patrick London, I wish I didn't have to do any shopping between November 1st to January the 3rd. I don't. I'm mean, only shopping I'm going to do. I'm going to buy me a, 
a Google Home Hub, even though I don't have any home stuff to control, but it has a little seven inch screen on it. And you, on Black Friday, you can get them for 99 bucks. I'm gonna get one and, uh, and I'm gonna move uh, Miss Google to the other thing. So anyway, Charlotte Herring, lovely. You are fortunate to see these beautiful animals up close. Well, you know, they're, they're like goats around here. You know, there's just hundreds of them, actually thousands. Uh, not right around me, but, you know, there's probably 30 or 40 that live pretty close to my house here, or home base. Brian Hansen, keeping the grass mobile. That's how I get it mowed. If they don't come by, it, that's, it doesn't get anything. J David Johnson, if you threw out some turnip seeds this winter, they would thank you so much. Well, I might do, I'm not, I don't feed anything. I, and cats, you know, we got feral, wild cats that come by here. And, uh, you know, all kinds of, you know, you got, well, not many dogs, mainly feral cats, deer, uh, and possum, and, and a few uh, coons. And coons, have, I've watched them use their hands. They're just like humans, I'm telling you. They pick stuff up and look at it and then put it back. Crazy. Yeah, yeah you got to watch uh, in, uh, videos about coons. They are fascinating. Rich Crutch, do you have quail by your property? Uh, not really. I haven't seen. There are a few quail here out in the brush, but not many. That's further south, down around Kennedy, George West, that area. Diamonds Lash Ranch. A nice way to spend the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Just sit out there on the patio and talk to the deer. Kurt Miller, Mom. Good morning, Rusty. I remember when you called that little guy. You, you know, call it. That's oh, it. This up, it up here. <clears throat> Yeah, a Trenton Clump. Yeah, I remember that. I've been watching your videos for a long time. Swivel on, Rusty. Yeah, that was a little play on the politics. Trenton Clump. Yep. Thank you, Kurt. You've been around a while. Good for you. Here we go. James Veach must have said something wrong or right because he got a lot of replies. You know I cannot figure out why anybody with a heart would want to kill such a beautiful animal just to eat it. Well, here's the thing about that now here's the, uh, the argument for hunting them and killing them <clears throat> they will overpopulate and starve to death that's what they say uh, the other argument is they will overpopulate and get into people's gardens and flowers and stuff and all that uh, you know are those valid arguments I, it depends on which side you are if you like deer if you like venison well Anyway, DJNJ08830, thumbs up to you. Old guy, thanks, best regards. Shannon Thomas Osborne. Anybody with three names got to know something. <clears throat> Hello, Shannon Thomas Osborne. Says, so beautiful, talking about the deer. Uh, my old lady's cooking show. Got thumbs up to you. Jeffrey Nunez on the tiny home. Ever since somebody jumped on the tiny house wagon the prices are way too high it, yeah it, i don't know man do, do what you got to do if it's too high don't buy it wendy mcgee it's the weather cloudy cool and cloudy gets them moving yeah well sometimes you know if you want to know what the deer are doing if you're out hunting watch what the cattle are doing if the cattle are laying down you can bet your life that the deer are doing the same thing <clears throat> if the cattle are moving around the deer are probably doing the same thing <clears throat> Linda Lou, where are you? I buy similar foods except for tamales, which I will get when I am in Texas. Yeah, you know, a lot of people will buy them from these people that parked on the side of the road selling tamales. I, you know, you might be eating roadkill. I don't know. Uh, so, but be careful with that. But there are some uh, places that sell tamales that are pretty good. It, it, but, you know, to all a tamale is is some masa with some meat thrown in it and seasoning, very little. This, uh, Linda Lou, where are you? This time of year on the east end of Long Island, there are more deer than humans. Unfortunately, I've gotten many tick-borne diseases doing organic l gardening for a living and working on estates in the Hamptons. Humans only visit their mansions a few times a year and deer are eating all their plants. Ha ha. Isn't that amazing? These people have big, you know, I was in Palm Desert where the people have homes from all over the world, you know, because you can build at certain elevations to get certain temperatures. And uh, and it's a desert, of course. It's beautiful out there. And it's near, you know, the big spots in California. And yeah, there's people, I, I talked to some of the house sitters. Some of them had been there three years and the people had never been there. 
but they were paid every week and they you know they mowed the grass kept the home ready uh, in case the people showed up i don't know it's crazy but you know i guess that's what happens beckany miller uh gary whining about rusty and youtube channel money thing uh, well, Rusty, having a few trolls just means you're becoming well-liked channel. Block him and he'll come back with a different name. Yeah, I know. I've, I've run into that. <clears throat> he says, none of the normal, well-adjusted viewers mind anything on your channel. I, I thank you for that, Beckany. I know that. I, I don't get crazy, too crazy. Mark73573, thumbs up. Uh, Cinnamon Girl, how are you doing? Beautiful creatures. I had a German Shepherd that had eyes like a doe she was beautiful thanks for sharing rusty yeah they got big old eyeballs but you know they're geared for for night that's night vision okay they don't they don't see real well during the day uh, they can p they'll pick up movement but if you don't, if you're just kind of sitting still they don't even see you dr dan okay rusty you brought up shopping i've got the big gifts covered but i could use some ideas for stocking stuffers for my wife and daughters the wife at 60s and daughters at 25. I try to put in gag stuff every year, but I'm running dry on ideas this year. Well, rehash some of the old ones. They've probably already forgotten anyway. <clears throat> Can't help you there. I'm not much on buying gifts. I just hand out cash. They go buy their own gifts. Charles Green. Rusty, how far are you from the nearest Verizon Tower as the crow flies? I think about two and a half miles, maybe three. If you take your phone outside, is the signal speeds better? No, about the same. It doesn't vary much. There are spots. I get two to three bars of signal strength, okay, here. But, you know, it, it's just, uh, it, it's okay. I'm not complaining. It's the way it is, man. You, I just have to deal with it, you know. I'm not, I'm not going to get upset about it. But thank you for your input. Karen Holly, looks like they're, looks like they're headed towards the road. Where are they going, Rusty? I, I have no... Wherever the hell they want to go, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. I don't follow them. Uh, Robert Bradford. Well, I was wondering where Robert Bradford was. Rusty, in honor, in honor of the elevated status of your bananas, I say Chiquita Casita. <laughs> That's cute. The Chiquita Casita. Ay! Arriba, arriba, arriba. <laughs> Pamela Chandler, beautiful Rusty, don't go hunting. I don't plan to go hunting. I did years, and years about, about 40, 50, 60 years ago. I was about 13, and we'd go down to, quote, Deerleys, and I didn't really want to hunt then. I mean, we hunted differently, though. There were no deer feeders. Uh, you know, nobody fed any, any of the deer or anything. You, you just went out there and sat down or found you a spot you thought was pretty good, and or what you do, you look for deer droppings and deer trails, you know, the little footpaths they make. You can see where they've been. And you just get by one and sit there and hope you got the wind right. That's the way we did it. Drifty G Maw Mary. Wow, fast. Uh, this is on the bridge. I was watching them build. I, wa I watch. I watching them built. I watching them built. New interstate bridge over Mississippi here, but it taking years. Yeah, I hear you. Well, it's, that's a big project. They got to get down to bedrock <clears throat> somehow. Deer, thir deer 30, Robert Sparks. I love deer and wildlife in general as long as they stay off the hood of my vehicle. Man, isn't that the truth? And up here, we got a lot of that. You know, I don't think, I, I rarely drive into Kingsland or over to Marble Falls that I don't see two or three dead deer. So, you know, they're not going to overpopulate as long as they're getting killed every night. <clears throat> Diane Todd on the Deer 30. Oh, how awesome to see these deer so beautiful. This is the kind of place I am looking to far to buy well you know you put enough zeros on the end of a one when you get up around seven zeros you got it <laughs> you just bought you a, a deer place <laughs> rose lady you are absolutely correct rusty people are backwards we should remorse at birth and rejoice at a funeral that is true man you know people are born we ought to be tears in our eyes oh no they got all this crap to go through <laughs> yo all these political crap and i mean you know, and then when they're dead, they're out of it. And you, know, I'd, cheaters, you're not supposed to die. You're supposed to hang in here and watch TV. <clears throat> anyway, Rose Lady, those the four deer are so beautiful. It would be, it must be so nice to have deer come up in your yard to look at. It's okay. I mean, you get used to it. It's, it's like anything else. Nettie Holmes <clears throat> says they are beautiful. Well, they're they're like they're like goats. In fact, from a profile, they kind of look like a camel. They got kind of a camel face. But so does a goat. So anyway, 
Anna Watson, so beautiful. Thanks for sharing. Hope no one kills them. Well, they give doe permits now, and doe is be the best eating meat. The old buck meat can be a little tough and, and gamey, so to speak. <clears throat> and if you don't get that musk gland out of the buck when you kill it within a few minutes or so, it can, it'll ruin the taste of the meat. Anna Watson, so beautiful. Thanks for sharing. Hope no one kills them. Well, they, you know, it's a crazy thing. They kill off all the bucks. Okay, you know they, they want those horns to mount. You know you can't be a macho man with man with a doe mounted on the on the wall. Come on, <clears throat> you got to have horns. You know what I mean? I'm a man. God darn. G. Lee Ferguson, deer, slam on the brakes. Isn't that the truth? Up here, you better. Okay, Elisa. Wow. Please post as many deer thirties as you feel like, and I would just love it. Five. You had had five, two does and three fawns with the elders at the front and back of the procession. I love that you can see them from such a great spot so very close up. Anyway, thank you, Elisa. She's got more, but I'm going to move on here. <clears throat> we'll do three more, okay, three more. Julia Briggs, throw out corn for them. No way, baby. It's about $6 a bag. Uh, no. There's people around here that do. In fact, they made a rule in some subdivisions that you can't feed the deer because the people, you know, people want to people want to treat the deer like they do their pets. <clears throat> deer don't make good pets. Bob Alderlink, Alder Inc. Rather, thanks for taking the time to share this with us. You're welcome, Johnny Q. Amish. You're the Dalai Lama of Miller Lite beer. You could say that. Yes, you you, you could. Uh, you could say that. Remember that movie, uh, Casino, where they asked him if he was the manager of the casino? And he said, well, you, you could say that. You could say that I'm the manager when so-and-so is not here. <laughs> anyway, you may not remember that. Anyway, having said that, guys, uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. What kind of horses only come out after dark? Nightmares. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway... From Central Texas, USA, on a cold morning, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, <clears throat> use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It will help you avoid gout kidney stones and it will also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want a snack. Ta-da! And what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in real deep and hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. What else? Stretch, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. You know, get out and exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because that's good for you. It'll just make you feel better and you'll live a little bit longer because of it. And what else? Uh, <clears throat> stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is yours. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, so, yeah, don't let uh, you know negative thoughts in. You know, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. You'll sleep better. You'll feel better. And when you feel better, everybody around you feel better, right? Anyway, having said that, enjoy your Tuesday. Thanksgiving's coming up on Thursday, and I hope you all have a good holiday period. And, uh, and, and enjoy Black Friday. <clears throat> Is that discrimination? Maybe they should call it White Friday. Oh, no! Anyway, adios, amigos. Bye-bye. <laughs>